Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy Wicked here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to basically get more FPS on Roblox. Now, right off the bat, I just like to say that this cannot make a bad PC good. And what I mean by that is that, for example, I have a really good PC, but sometimes when I'm playing games on Roblox, such as Arsenal or Phantom Forces, it says I'm at 60 FPS, but I'll feel like some glitchiness and it'll look like kind of like visible lag and the game just won't run as smoothly as it's supposed to. And I've always wondered why. So I'm sure most of you guys know that Roblox actually caps the game at 60 FPS. If you press shift 5 you can actually see your fps and you can see that it locks it in at 60. now you'd say oh well if you have a good you know pc then you should have no problem well, i'm gonna see if i can try to capture a moment for you guys um i have in the top left it's showing you my fps and we're just gonna play around and see if any lag kind of appears just so you guys know this is my graphic settings so maybe it won't show it on here let me let me switch to phantom forces Okay, so now we're loading into Phantom Forces, which is a game that I personally have not played in quite a long time, um, even though I used to grind it in the past. But in my previous video of showing you guys how to get more FPS, I played the same thing just to display it, just because this game commonly has this problem. Um, and just so you guys know, I'm pretty sure that this doesn't classify as exploiting per se, um, because realistically, it doesn't really give you any more of like a an advantage over other players besides the fact that they're just not as laggy. But I personally believe that VSync should be an option to turn off for players anyways, just because it would do nothing but give the Roblox more players. You know what I mean? But as you guys can see right now, I'm running 60 FPS yet the game still looks gross, right? Like it literally, it doesn't look good. It'll probably look worse even when I shoot. Yeah, it's just not smooth, okay? And I have a good PC. I mean, like I literally have, you know, my graphics card is a GTX 1060. I mean, the rest of my hardware is still pretty solid, but like, come on. I run games like Warzone at, you know, I cap at like a 120 FPS, but I run around 200 max graphics. Same thing with PUBG and etc. So obviously Roblox should be working the same. So now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like using my Roblox FPS unlocker. As you can see, my FPS switched to 200. We're going to load in now and look, it looks perfectly smooth. It's looking great. It looks how 150 to 200 FPS should look. It literally looks beautiful. Everything's fantastic. We can switch weapons. Everything looks sick. By the way, I have some nasty skins. What the heck? But everything's smooth now. It's great. So there's the example of, you know, how it works, how well it works and et cetera and stuff like that. That's literally all it is. This doesn't give you any aimbot advantage or seeing through walls or et cetera. This is strictly just to unlock FPS. I personally feel like if you do any other exploiting on Roblox where you're, you know, aimbotting in a game, flying around, etc., god moding yourself, you are literally a piece of trash and I hate you. <laughs> uh, it's harsh, but that's literally just the facts. Um, hacking is what ruined Apocalypse Rising and countless other games that are enjoyed by literally thousands of players every day, every year, etc. And it just, it ruins Roblox and it's going to make everything go downhill. So now I'm going to show you guys how to get this. In the description, there's going to be a link to this website right here. Um, there is this user right here um, that kind of just does this stuff and it stays updated. So whenever there's a new version, of this you guys are gonna have to come and get it to make sure that you know your account stays perfectly fine perfectly safe and etc like that um just so you guys know no this will not give you any viruses for me sometimes it will and it'll like disappear like i'll go to download it and it'll be like oh um you know virus detected blah 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 we disabled it all you have to do is just go through the procedures when whether you have like windows 10 or etc go through and just void it and mark it as like safe like you want to still go through with it and stuff like that um after you do it one time you shouldn't have that issue again so yeah you're just gonna have to go into your virus and threat protection you're gonna have to un like delete it uh, whatever your pc did to get rid of it and you just have to mark it as safe and then it shouldn't happen ever again um and you should be perfectly fine but so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to download 64 bit um i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be 64 bit that's what i download um and then when you download it you know you can put it wherever you want in your computer so wherever you put it doesn't really matter we're just going to continue. So when you download it, you just open it up and it'll look like this when you open it up. Now, anytime you're going to load into a Roblox game, you can either be in the game or you can be before you're in the game. Actually, I don't think that doing it in before the game actually does anything for you like positive. So all you're going to do is just turn it on when you're in game and then it actually should stay on again until you fully close out of your PC or etc. As you guys know, I activated it 
and right now it's still going so yeah once more this will not make your pc if it's bad a good pc um i have a good pc and i'm able to play roblox at 300 200 fps whatever because it's a good pc if you have like a really bad laptop or something and you already run like 30 fps on the game you are not going to just shoot up to 60 or etc this is strictly just for pcs that are like decent or whatever that should be running roblox better than it is but it just can't for whatever reason sorry if this video is kind of messy i'm literally recording this like 2 a.m right now and i'm really tired um but i hope it helped you regardless it's been your boy wicked and i'll see you in the next one